there everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. I think that today it, another sort of busy day to make stuff to moving towards Britannia. Um, obviously moving towards Britannia because I want to move towards uh, environmental tech. So let's have a look at this first of all. Environmental tech requires an as now it's a ruin what's it called? An altar. Also altar. The ruin altar, basically the thing I need, isn't it? Now where's it gone to? I've got on Britannia, I can't s this one. Runic altar. Which I need on a luminous crafting table with a mana pearl. And some living some living rock. Not too difficult. Except for the mana pearl. So we need to do mana generation first of all. Now according to the book I'm not going to bother reading the book out. There's something you can do yourselves, basically. It's quite very detailed, very long. But we start with an endo flame. So the recipe for an endo flame. Pro I, oh, bookmark that. Okay, fine. I can have four bookmarks. So basically, it's the first level of flame generation. Next page, and it tells you about it. So what we need is basically two brown, two grey, and a red. A light grey, that is. Petals. Let's go and get those. You know, I'm putting my episodes a, w a little bit out. Two brown, wasn't it? One light grey and one red petal. We need some seeds. We always need seeds, and I need to set up a seed farm. Because 18 seeds is just not going to cut it, is it? So we come to our petal apothecary here, and we basically put these items in. So we can, I just think, drop them in, hopefully, like this, and do a nice plop. And that should then show us the recipe, which it has done. It's good. So we can then press Q on that, and it produces an ender flame. Now we're going to need a lot of ender flames, and I've already prepared those. Let's we'll put it down. Oh, no, let's not put it down. First thing we need to make is a petal apothecary. No. A mana spreader. Wow. So we know what we're doing that one with a mana spreader. I've actually got one already made, but can't see it for trying. This thing. So it's golden living wood and a brown or any petal. So I've got lots of petals of different types. I think I put them in the uh, mushrooms nope dies that's it so we'll take a brown petal i was busy crafting petals the usual thing put them down on grass right click them and then break them with some shears so right what do we want to do bar of gold i think i need a bar of gold so a mana spreader we've got plenty of living wood you see Oh, didn't need the gold. That's got gold in there, fine. So you have to put this... It's a good idea to put this down first. And it needs to be... I'm going to put it down right beside this mana pool here. Hopefully it points at that mana pool. I'm not 100% sure, to be honest with you. If we're not, we'll turn it. Because it mana travels. So what I'm going to do now is put down the end of flame that we just made. I like that. And then we're going to give it some food. The endo flame needs food and it basically needs anything that we can burn. So a good thing that we can burn is plenty of uh, blaze rods, because some blaze rods are one of the things which are being dropped quite a lot. So I need to just make sure I've got my magnet out of the way. Let's me mag put my magnet up there and then just chuck this down somewhere like that. It'll get consumed by the end of flame, hopefully. Boom. And then that's going to be then linked to this mana spreader here. So the mana spreader is probably not pointing to the right place. Now I've already prepared a few bits and pieces. And one thing I have, let's go and have a look on the, on here. So let's have a look at this. So I need to get the uh, wand of the forest. There's not that many items in astral science, uh, astral sorcery, which is rather strange. So that's a look. Um, but Botany's got lots. 
so the wonder of the forest is basically so some mystical living twigs which is two pieces of wood we need three of those and two petals so that's that easy to make i've already made some so let's just get it out of my inventory here i think i've got them stuff prepared in one of these two i shall take these out while i'm thinking about it yes i've got my wonder of the forest already prepared I've also got some more ender flames already prepared and a wooden pressure plate. So what we need to do with this is probably consume that fuel already. It consumes fuel very, very fast. So we basically need to make sure that this is bound to the mana pool. So this is now, it, and you see it's not, it's pointing that direction. Okay. And that little green spark is the, is the basically it's furthest point. Well, it's furthest point at 100% efficiency, shall we say. I want to get this pointing to that. So what I do is I make sure this is in the right mode. So it's in bind mode. It's got two modes. Shift right click, your little green leaf disappears. That's the functional mode. With it in, that's the bind mode. So you shift right click the mana spreader and then right click the mana pool. And it should turn around. Did I not do that right? It doesn't look like I did that right. I have to shift right click it. Oh, I have to shift right click it both times. And as you can see, it's generated a little bit of mana and it's already put that mana into this pool so what we do now is right above this i'm going to put a open crate so let's just get oh yeah i'm going to do it here so what i'm going to do is put down a block actually i'm going to do it two blocks high no reason really could do it one block high but you'll see what i'm going to do in a minute so in here i'm going to put the pressure plate down the bottom and I'm going to take the open crate and I made an open crate somewhere huh where have I put it that's the next question uh, I've got a few bits and pieces already prepared for this by the way I don't see it okay let's go make another open crate dead easy anyway just bits of living wood now we'll probably need more than one anyway, so it makes much difference. It's just this thing here. Oh, I need some living wood. So let's go and harvest this living wood here. Oh. Now, there's also another trick, and you'll see that in a second. So let's just take, let's remove this book out of the way. Take my Paxil here. Paxil's good, because especially for this case, because you can both chop up that and that straight away. So now I've got that. What I've done here is I've put down stone, and here I've put down wood. So all I need to do is right click this with my magic wand, and these will actually put the whole thing down. And it doesn't convert the wood underneath. The wood underneath stays as wood, and this then gets converted to living wood and living rock, etc. So then you don't have to worry about it. What did I do with my. See, I've got I've prepared a mana spreader here. Did I forget to put it in here or something? Stuff like that. Hmm. Anyway, it's just a crate like this, isn't it? Oh, those are living wood. I need living wood planks. Okay. Oh, I've got plenty of living wood. Let's just make two sets of blanks. Where's that gone to? <laughs> Try that again from here probably the easiest good and I'll put this in this crate over here like that so those are the planks there what we do is we put this down and what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to put a hop beside it uh, I can't put it down when I'm like this of course because it's it's in the way let's just jump up there we go what I'm going to then break away these. Now I've got to use my the right pickaxe for this. I don't want to use the paxel because it's not it's not silk touch, and then it breaks these into little stony blocks, which are actually not that useful. Ooh, prosperity shot, nice. And of course, that's another advantage of using that. So now we're going to put down the pressure plate here, and I'm going to surround this with the other ender flames that I've prepared already. should be eight good so then I need to make sure I've got a hopper 
I'm sure I've got a hopper already prepared for this. But I'm not seeing anything that I've actually prepared for this. Very frustrating. Where have I put it all? Well, okay. It's not there, is it? Right, okay. So let's go make another hopper. Not desperately difficult. Maybe I've got one in. No, no hoppers in there. Hoppers are actually quite easy to see, which is good. I've got three in here that'll do fine. So let's go and put that hopper beside this. Doesn't matter where I put it, as long as I've got it in the right place, that is. I think it's in the right place. Test, we'll test it. Let's just. Oh, I can't do that. I have to put down the hopper first, don't I? Let's just put one blaze rod into that. Oh, try again. Right, one blaze rod into there. And it has landed on the plate, good. And it, so it has got taken. So what then I can do is with random things, we've got a few more mechanics. There's all sorts of ways of doing this, of course. There's, there's no, there's nothing. Where did I put those bits? Probably in slot two, yes I did. So I've got a redstone observer and I've made a basic redstone interface. And I've also made this. Now these these things are very easy. I just follow the recipe, let's have a look. So the recipe for this is just basically two sticks and a redstone like that and it produces this redstone tool very cheap very easy not no big deal at all and the information that tells you about the redstone mainly used for binding redstone interfaces this is exactly what we're doing the redstone observer is basically just an eye vendor with some there's nothing special in that redstone and leather quartz and then the last one is the basic redstone interface and the recipe for that is basically uh, is a stable ender pearl it's a bit more awkward I suppose which is the obsidian and lapis around an ender pearl so we we can produce those two things now what this does and I want this as well so I'll put down the redstone observer first of all that's this one like that and I'm going to basically put it down there and then I'm going to bind this thing to the pressure plate so when you hold this at the moment, it's not showing anything, but if you shift right click that and then right click the pressure plate, it points to the pressure plate. So what that means is let's put down the piece of redstone, you can see the effect easier. See that redstone links to that. If we come along here and put down a, a blaze rod, you see it's actually lit up. Whoops, I threw those away. I threw those away. I threw the others away. <laughs> up in a second because that's producing a lot more mana so that then basically produces the redstone signal now with the redstone observer what we can do with this so we can put this down I could actually put it down right beside it I think I'll put it down here for demonstration purposes and then I'll bind this one here to the hopper and as you know when a hopper's got a signal it doesn't drop anything so right click that and then should right click that and then it's pointing to this as you can see you only does it when you've got your ha in your hand like that so now if I come along here and put in some blaze rods into here the drop always drops out too they sit there that's got the redstone signal which is then giving a redstone signal to that so it's not dropping anymore so as soon as those are consumed it will disappear off and it puts in some mana into the mana pool and now of course I've got I'm all right, yeah. It just drop some more down because each of those flowers is going to take this eight flowers, it's going to be taking two each time, like that. So that's working quite nicely. But it's probably a good idea if I fill it up that with some more blaze powder. How much have I got space? I've got a place to fill up at least five stacks. Let's take five stacks out of this. Not too far away, so. Oh, right. Okay, I can shift those into that as well, of course. Yes. So then I put them, throw the others back into the system. So it's gone. So that'll be producing mana. So now we can take a ender pearl, 
And we can then, hopefully, we've got enough mana at this stage. And we can throw this ender pearl into here to make a, a mana pearl. Let's just do it like that. So now I've got my mana pearl. And therefore we can actually make our runic altar. So, what do we need for that one? Ha! Huh. I think I've moved it, haven't I? Uh, I need to do this luminous crafting. So we need five pieces of living rock on the luminous crafting altar. And also at the same time, we need to make a starlight altar at some stage. So we need this bucket of um, liquid starlight. And we make the liquid starlight with a light well. And some rock crystals. So let's do that. We're going to find... I've got some rock crystals, haven't I? I did... I think they are number three. Yes, they are. And now I can actually see... Oh, that's got a good purity. So what I'm looking for here is the one with the lowest purity. That's got 30. Oh, 86. That's even 90. Wow. Some of those are actually pretty awesome rock crystals. But holding down shift, you see what they are. So now we're going to make our light. Well, let's make our light. Well, I think we can do that. This thing. So luminous crafting table, we need a rock, which we've got, and some aquamarine, and some uh, ruined marble. I think we have to make that with just ordinary marble and chiseled marble. Okay, I've got plenty of that. Now just make sure I've got enough ordinary marble in with me. Let's have a look. It's actually all stored in the, nank, the dank nall, so have I got ordinary marble? 1,000, yes, I've got no shortage. Phew, good. So now I need to go over to the altar and we will do the two things at the same time. I should set up a waystone down here, shouldn't I? I'll do that between episodes because it's not going to be too difficult. It's over here. Oh, that's a nice bit of luck. I should bring my clock down here, shouldn't I? Because it's midday. <laughs> so this won't have a... Oh, it's got a little bit of light on it. I don't suppose it's got enough. No, it needs a lot more than that, as you can see. The bar is around about here. Now, can we make the other bits and pieces, then? Can we make the light well? So ruined marble, we need... So we're going to need three of... Oh, it's going to make three. Good. So we just need one of those, one of those, and one of two of those. Okay. Let's get that out of the dank null. Two pieces of marble. Ordinary. Oh, of course it takes a... And a chiseled marble. Oh, I can actually rotate it. Oh, it took some... Okay, that's fine. So it's actually not such a bad place, this, but it looks like. So, what was the recipe? I think the recipe was just... No, it's just ordinary marble, isn't it? And that looks as though we can make this, so we'll do that. So I just need my resonating wand here. And let's just shift right-click this. A right-click isn't it? Right-click it. Indeed I am. And then we made it. Fantastic. So the, the light well, we need the crystal. Oh, aquamarine. Yes, I've got aquamarine with me. That's good. And those that pattern. So let's have a look at that pattern. Because we I have to remember this is... You can't shift click things into this. So we need two chisel marble, two aquamarine. And these three runic altars like that. Uh, three runic stones. Let's get the, the two crystal ones out of there. I thought I was... Where have they gone to? Don't think I need the pillars yet. We'll put those back into the diagonal. So, where did the. Ah! Oh, do I already got some runic. Okay, I've already got some, have I? Didn't realise I'd already got some. 15. Okay, so we need three of these. 
have to look, shouldn't I? So they go, I think it's one, two, three. Oh, aquamarine I need. I'm going to check my recipe at the same time because I've forgotten. I think they go on the sides here like this. The crystal goes in the middle. And these two chisel blocks go like that. No, not right. Let me just, maybe this is the other way around. Nope, it's not showing me. Anyway, oh, maybe it is showing me because the bar's up higher. Let's just double check that recipe. Yes, that is correct, isn't it? So I've got to now wait until night time, I think, before we can actually progress there. Now, they don't disappear. As far as I know, they stay in the altar here like that, which is good. Now, what time of day is it? Well, it's coming towards evening time, isn't it? So it's not too bad. But what else I've got? As I discovered, I've got some draconic cores. They must have been also a reward from or from the treasure hunt. So we've got 12 draconic cores, which is actually fantastic because what that means is we can actually complete another quest. Well, I think we can. We should be able to anyway. So let's have a look at that. Oh, sorry, let's press a four on that one. Now, it's the overpowered quest. I've got to make 16 of these draconic cores, so that's no big deal. We will do that at some stage. But, since I've got 12, I only need to make four. It won't count towards this, but what it does count towards is the next one, which is the basic fusion crafting. So we need to make these injectors, and we need to make 12 of those. So let's have a look at the recipe for the basic fusing injectors. Actually, I'll do it this way, I won't I? I'll keep, get rid of the Britannia. This one. So that requires one core. And I would like to make, I think you need to make at least eight fusion crafting injectors. But we've got to make these blocks of draconium, which shouldn't be too much of a difficult, blocks of iron and chisels, just ordinary stone. Diamonds, no big deal. So we should be able to make these things. Now it's night time, let's go and do our crafting. We should be able to do the crafting now, we can, good. Let's hit this right. So now we've got our, oh, we've completed our quest, Liquid Starlight, fantastic. So what we do with this now, is we put this down, like that. And then on top of that, we put a rock crystal. So let's get the next worst one. So that was 73, that's good. 50%, 38%, 86, 64, 90%. These re rock crystals are surprisingly good, for purity that is. So we then right click this onto here, like that. And that's going to produce for us some liquid starlight. What I'm going to do, I don't know what I can do this, let's have a look. I'm going to pump it straight into a tank or a drum. Probably I'm going to pump it into a drum. A drum. So we've got some ordinary fluid. I don't, I don't think we need anything special. I'll take our resonant. I'm always using just resonant ones at the moment, aren't I? Like that. And I'm going to put this down here. I presume... Oh, it won't. Ha ah, ah. ha. Okay, that, that means I've got to do it differently. But while we're here, let's make the runic altars anyway. So let's I think there's something else gated behind this. So there we go. Shows you the item. And the wand is here. Let's right click that one. I think I've got to go. Maybe I should do some more digging. I don't know how long it takes to create. It doesn't seem to have a progress bar anywhere, but there we go. Oh, what's happened here? Yeah, that's the flare from the... That's the flares, aren't they? These are the harmless flares that get made when you're making liquid starlight. Now, I've got, it's looking a bit full. I better get a move on. So we'll take a bucket. And we'll take a bucket of liquid 
liquid starlight out of here. We can do already, that's fantastic. We, and we've completed another quest, liquid starlight. Now, there's a reason for this, isn't there? That's to upgrade the altar to the next level. And I think we actually have enough space to do that. It's a three by three. So this one here, we need a rock crystal, some marble pillars, and two of those. So let's see if we can actually do that. So then we need to make this into a form. I don't think I need it at another level just yet, but we'll we'll see. So that goes in the middle. We need another rock crystal. Let's get that out of my bag. Uh, and we need some pillars. Let's get rid of the pillars. There's a zombie around. Of course, it's night time. Pillars. Uh, chisel marble. I'm not 100% sure what we need. I didn't check it that carefully. I should have done. Let's have a look. This one. So, alright, okay, it's fairly straightforward. We should be able to do that. So the, ch the, the pillars go on the corners. Chisel marble goes across like that. And the rock crystal goes at the top. Let's have a look at our rock crystals again. I think we have one that's not too bad. 50%. Yeah, 50% is the one we're going to use. I think it needs more starlight now what time of day is this it looks like it's midnight doesn't it so i'm not getting enough starlight here do i need oops i need to get some more buckets going otherwise we'll be wasting our starlight what i'm going to do is implement this with a mechanical user and i'll probably do that maybe i'll do that off camera i should have buckets where are they gone to here we go Oh, we can actually do two. Oh, that's interesting. So we've got some more sp liquid starlight. Mm. Now, how do I... I'm sure this thing doesn't... It's not powerful enough, this place. So maybe we can use our... Oh, how do we do that now? I need to find a better place to, to do this. Or make a relay. Let's have a look. I think there's a relay. Let's... Now that should be one of the things which we can actually craft. A spectral relay, this thing here. Okay, we need to make a glass. So starlight, is it just one on, uh, no, I thought it was going to be four planes and one crystal. Let's go and do that. I think we've got time. I don't intend to move it. Huh. Actually, every time I come here, I always have to check this as well. It's full. Why is it full? Because it's got a, a mystical lime flower in its collection. <laughs> and every time that happens, I come along here, put them flat, the, the mystical plant up here, as for the others. We'll end up with 16 of those. And this thing will just should empty out fairly quickly. Like that. But it still hasn't found it hasn't done any prosperity yet, so that's a shame. But the other ores are coming in like that. That was a lie. So I need four glass panes. And I think we have some somewhere about some, but they may may not be here. They may be in the um Nether. I'll make some more, no big deal. Oh. I'll try again. <laughs> yeah, the recipe hasn't changed, it's just me. Let's go quickly back and make some of these lenses. I would have thought this would have been a good place since this actually got a since it's this type of thing. And of course I've got to get rid of this stuff and I really need to get my mechanical user on this. Where are the buckets? 
because we don't want the we don't want the crystal to break. I was hoping to be able to pipe it out, but I'm not going to be able to pipe it out. So, so now we need to do this. Let's just do it. Ah yes. Oh, and it's going down fast because it's already past midday. Let's get rid of those. And those. I have to leave that on there. Gets rid of some of the other stuff. Oh dear, I'm struggling. Oh yeah, that's good. They stack in there. That's nice, actually. Um, I need my aquamarine. Let's get four of those out. I'm going to make four lenses. I don't know whether I need four or not, but we'll, I've got plenty of aquamarine anyway, so let's just do it that way. I know we certainly need at least two. And we can do that, so let's get these made. That make four in one go. Made two. If we get two for each one, let's have a look at that thing. Okay, and again. So it's obviously to do with the amount of starlight it's got as well. Okay, good. So can we make the relay? Or is it too early? Is it too late? Um this thing. Oh, it's luminous crafting again, so we need I didn't bring the rest of the stuff. Marble Any marble pillar. But not oh, just marble will do fine good. So let's I have to go back and get some bits and pieces. Gold nuggets is mainly the problem. And we'll certainly make a couple of these, I think. I get nine. Oh, I got eight. Good. In fact, I've got so much stuff on me. Let's just. No, I can't put it in there. Let's put these into there. Because I don't need those with me today. So we needed some wood, wasn't it? I think it was wood we needed. Let me just double check that. Any planks, I guess. Okay, that'll do. Let's see if we can go and make a couple of these things. Or oh, it's too late. It's too late. We'll set up the Rooney culture and do something with that. We need to make a second mana spreader, which is okay too, this way, isn't it? Of course, this is going to stop producing stuff, so that actually gives me time to do that as well. So let's have a look. Have we got any more? No, we've got no more in there yet. So now. What was the pattern for that? Okay, so we just need some marble. Let's get oh, get some ordinary marble out of here. I think. For some reason it doesn't always shift right click, right click, shift right click. No, put down a block, shift right click. Come on. Time it worked. Take, I'll take a stack. Probably won't work, but we'll see. So it's gold nuggets. I think they're on the outsides here. Lenses are in the middle. Planks are down the bottom here, and marbles here. Oh yes, I've got to wait till night time. <laughs> I don't suppose we can click it yet, but if we try, no, it doesn't, it doesn't click. So while that's doing that, let's go and make ourselves a, a mechanical user. I've already got some bits and pieces ready for that. And I was having a problem in, in the nether, because for some reason or other... Oh, I was getting a... You know, I keep thinking that's one of those astral sorcery mobs. Death ghoul or whatever it's called, right. So 
the runic altar we've got we could put this down we need another mana spreader I think I've got one of those already prepared look and I think I'm not 100% sure I know I need to put this down fairly close to the mana pool it's actually mana pool looking reasonably full isn't it Let's take the wand of the forest. Right, click it. Yeah, it's actually got over a quarter full, so that's doing very nicely. So let's see if we can put this down. I think we should put it down like this now. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, there you are. So let's bind this mana pool to that, and I'm not 100% sure how I get the mana out of it. We'll, we'll, we'll see. So shift right click that one, right shift right click that one, and now pointing to the right place. Yeah, it's time it's connected to the runic altar but how do I get this thing here to actually produce some mana I'll tell you what we'll do we'll bind this one here to this mana spreader and then it should get we'll actually do the second one as well so this so this should then get a little bit of mana now I should be able to kind of not see the mana in here okay I can't Anyway, let's make the mechanical user. I think I've got a drum already prepared. I must click that, didn't I? So I've got two of these ingots. Unstable, stable ingots. Um, I can't remember whether it's from mechanical user. Let's look it up. This one. Okay, so it's just a dropper, res resonity redstone. I think a dropper. I've got a dropper in here. Resonating redstone. I don't have, but we can make some easily enough. So we need four pieces of redstone. So let's go and do this one. I should be able to click this into place. And we need two levers. Oh, got them already. Fantastic. Oh, and I don't need this. There must be already some droppers in here. Yes, there were. Like all of the others. <laughs> so that one, and then we just need a drum. And I think I've got some drums made. But where they are is another question. That shouldn't really be in there, should it? It's not a can are putting in components into that into that place so I was also thinking about making a creeper seed some it's about for gunpowder I think that's a good a good step forward as well no oh yes there they are two good now they'll hold 16 it's probably not enough let's go upgrade this one so, can we make two of these? Yes, we can, good. And then we just need some diamonds. <laughs> I'll take a stack of diamonds. It's funny when you talk in terms of stacks, isn't it? Use this. I should be able to make that one, no problem. Oh, yes. Probably better, so actually sensible too. In fact, you do both of them, isn't it? So let's get rid of the diamonds now. So I've got the drum, I've got the mechanical user, and I've got the pipe. So let's go back and get that stuff, make sure it's getting clicked away into there. Uh, it's the same thing as I have to do with this one, about four pipes or something like that. So we can get rid of this. So we want to put the mechanical user down so it faces this thing. Oh, actually, I need... Uh, I probably need two. And I haven't got enough materials for two, which will be a bit of a shame. Yeah, that's facing that. And I can put an empty... An empty... Um, 
bucket here and then simply I need to set it to activate lock with item <laughs> sure enough it works so that's actually produced some more and then what we have to do is we basically take the fluid out of here the buckets out of here so I need item ducts it's the same as I've been doing everywhere else item ducts we can do it I'm going to keep it this way actually I'll take it round the side here that way and then we need to put another mechanical user with a drum and so I'm going to take this one this way but of course it's going to connect so we need to not make sure make sure that doesn't connect yeah like that so that the mechanical user will go here and then the drum will go at the end of that so I've got to make another mechanical user which is a bit of a nuisance oops I mean to do that right and then I have to set up a filter oh, yes, of course I've got to get these things going so we basically want to take these out of here so I need the result this one here so basically what I'm going to do is here I'm going to whitelist liquid buckets of buckets and liquid starlight and I'll do the exactly the opposite and turn that on so any buckets of liquid starlight will get pulled out of here so it's actually making starlight during the day is it so it's still too low to actually make a repeater um, so look, but I've only got one so what I've got to do is I've got to go back to another and hopefully we might have a second one the ingredients are prepared but I have a problem and it's the seems to be wind it seems to be too strong in the nether at the moment which is going to be a bit of a nuisance where's my tablet there we go my warp stone let's go to the nether base oh, I've got plenty of XP so if it's worked it will be ready and it will be in this over here, well, she does look alright now. Yes, it is working fantastic. It got too fast, so I've got the fourth unstable ingot in here. What happened is, I wasn't sure whether this was actually going to work, and it does. This was whizzing around quite fast, so but it has it kept breaking my um, gearbox, which was underneath here, so I kept on repairing it okay good so it actually does need that that's been a long quite a long standing question actually I've, I was wondering whether I needed it so let's just get some of these while I'm here funny I need to take this bread while I'm here because I don't come here that often right good but I've got enough XP to go back to the uh, overworld base Sometimes that fails, that particular thing, and I end up with lots of red, and then I have to stop and start the game again. So let's just put the bread. I think I'm keeping bread in here. I think I've got some bread somewhere about. It's not in there. Ah, oh, here's just look. I've got 34. So now it's night time. We should be able to make those items. And then I'm going to have to call it a day because it's going on to 45 minutes. And I already think the episodes are probably a bit too long. Oh, I forgot to make the mechanical user, which is a nuisance. <laughs> can we make that? Yes, we can. Good. Oh, I need to right click it with a one now, of course. We got two. So these things, if I'm not mistaken, well, actually, I'll take the other stuff out. Oops. I didn't intend to do that. We've got two more. <laughs> well, they should actually give enough power for this bit. I've got to set up a construction for that. We'll look at that later on. Let's quickly go back and get the mechanical user sorted out because it's going to be wasting that rock crystal. I don't want to do that as it happens. Because you can't remove it once it's there. And I'm sure liquid starlight is a fairly important commodity. So put those away up here for the time being 
uh, mechanical user. So we need a dropper and have we got enough? Yes, we've got enough players in there. We've got a dropper in here. Yes, that's good. Uh, mechanical user, we need the second one of these. We should then be able to make a second mechanical user. Yeah, I'm missing this one. Oh, I've got enough redstone in there too. Fantastic. Good. Right, let's go down and fix this and then call it a day. I've just got to go the right direction, which is over here. So, put the mechanical user down. It's facing the wrong direction. But it doesn't matter very much. Oh! It's facing the wrong direction, but it doesn't actually matter at all. Let's just put this drum. Let's put that down here like that. <laughs> I should be able to shift right click the drum on this one. Use item, activate block with item. So we need to then send the items back out of here. So in here we should have nothing at the moment. Right click top right slot and I haven't got an empty bucket. So we need an empty bucket in here. And we need to set this up. So let's set that up first. I'm using this mechanics a lot in this game. Whether that's correct or not, I don't know. So we only want to whitelist then empty buckets going out of here. So if we then put an empty bucket into here, oops, not that one, that gets filled into here, and then we should have some starlight in here. Starlight, do that, two buckets, perfect. So that's going to fill this up with starlight as it's taken out of here. So every night it's going to produce some starlight for us. So relays, I'm not going to do the relays now. By the way, I did a charm for spiders as well, cave spiders as well, between episodes. The only one I haven't done so far is the slime. Um, I don't think that matters for the time. There's not that many slimes around, and they're not that desperately difficult. So, until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.